Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have 5 to the power of x squared minus 6x plus 7 equal to 0 0.64 the first step I will take is to convert this decimal to fraction so I have 5 to the power of x squared minus 6x plus 7 equal to 64 over 100 remember 64 over 100 is 0 0.64 right now the next thing I'm going to do is to reduce this to a lower term. So I have 5x squared minus 6x plus 7 equal to... Now let's um, reduce this. 64 divided by 4 will give us um, 16. And then 100 divided by 4 will give us 25, right? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to multiply, you know, cross multiply, so that 25 will multiply what we have here. We are going to have 25 multiply by 5 to the power of x squared minus 6x plus 7. And this is now equal to 16. Okay, so if I take a step further, then... Remember 25 is the same thing as 5 squared. Then multiply by 5 to the power of x squared um, minus 6x plus 7. And this is equal to 16. And then according to the law of indices, because we have the same base, I will pick one of them, which is 5, and add the powers. So when I do that, I'm going to have um, x squared minus 6x and then 2 plus 7 will now give us plus 9 plus 9 and then the whole of this is equal to 16. Now from here what do I do? The quadratic expression there is a power of um, 5 and I can work on that power so that I will factorize it. Now, let me deal with the power first, okay? We have x squared minus 6x plus 9. And for me to deal with this power, remember, this is the same thing as x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9. Because minus 3 times minus 3 will give us plus 9. And minus 3 minus 3 will give us minus 6. Now we'll group into 2 and factorize. If I factorize the first two terms, I'll have x minus 3 in this bracket. x, one x has come out. There's another one there. Then x has come out. 3 comes here. Now what is common to the next is minus 3. And then this x will be, will be left over here. Then negative positive will give us negative, and then 3 into 9 is 3. Close the bracket, and from here, we will factor out one of the terms in the bracket, which is x minus 3, and then in the other bracket, I'll have x minus 3. I'll have x minus uh, 3. So this has been factorized. In other words, this is the same thing as x minus 3 all squared. x minus 3 squared, right? Now, let's go back to the original you know, equation. This is what we had, right? Now, in place of the power, okay, so remember we're having x. Now, in place of the power, I'm, I'm going to write x minus 3 squared. And this is equal to 16. This is equal to 16. And now, what do I do? 
this is the point where I take the log of both sides take the log of both sides so I'll have um, log 5 to the power of x minus 3 squared and this is equal to log um, 16 and then according to the law the power can always go behind so I have x minus 3 squared log 5 equal to log um, 16 and then to make x minus 3 squared the subject I need to remove this log 5 from here as I divide both sides by log 5 this will remove this and then x minus 3 squared is equal to um, log 16 over 5 now permit me to use approximated figure okay so log 16 over log 5 will give us 1.72 approximately and then the next thing for us to do is to transfer the square from here to the other side so that we will have x minus 3 okay equal to positive or negative square root of 1.72 and then from here okay so x will be equal to 3 positive or negative square root of 1.72 and now this means that x is equal to 3 plus square root of 1.72 or 3 minus square root of 1.72 so these are the two values of x that satisfy the equation thank you for watching